All right. I think it's about time. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Joel Horowitz. I'm with Promo, and I have Amit uh, here as well from Promo, who um, we have the, the pleasure of hearing about branding and creative uh, with Promo AI. Uh, so I'm truly excited to have him here uh, to share with his share with us his perspective and his experience and his uh, skills. All right. Thank you, Joel. Um, hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Um, what we're going to do today is basically give an overview of Promo AI, how it works. I'm going to give a few insights into my workflow, a few examples and tips. So my name is Ami. I'm the creative director for Promo. And basically, Promo AI was designed because mainly for small businesses and agencies, we all know that content is king and video basically rules content today. And we are all trying to engage with our audiences, create, and we know that creating content can be a hassle. It takes time, it costs money. And Promo AI attempts to offer users an easy way to ideate and create engaging video content at a fraction of the time and the cost. So Promo AI basically what it does in four words is IDA produces, schedules, and publishes video content. Um, what we're gonna talk about today is the basics, how to create videos, how to publish and download them. I'm just gonna go give an overview of that. We're gonna talk a lot, I think, about editing editing using the chat editor, and then using the classic editor for a more manual approach. And through all that, I'm going to give a few insights and tips about branding, best practices. Let's jump to the product itself. So there, this is the promo homepage. Once you log into promo, this is what you see. You have ready-made templates that you can uh, personalize and customize, but we're not going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about Promo AI. And you can access Promo AI through two uh, tools here on the homepage. One is through the Create New button at, the, button at the top. You just press Start with Promo AI, and it leads you to start the flow. The other way, which is how I use it main, mainly, is through my workspace. This is a Promo AI planner page. So this is my calendar. You can see I already have Promo AI videos scheduled here for every day, some days more than one. This is April. This is May. This is how I pass through them. And up here at the top, I have a Generate AI videos. So the first stage to create videos is basically you start with this, um, with this window, and you can enter your website and it can automatically create videos for you. So today I've selected a user. This is a real estate agency from Beverly Hills, which features on a show I love, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So we're gonna create videos for them today. So all I did is basically copy the website domain and paste it here. You can delete these, but you don't have to. Promo AI will delete them for you later. And then you press continue. What it does in the first stage is it kind of scrapes the website. And as you can see, it already brought the name of the agency, the description of the agency, the logo, the watermark, and the brand colors. The difference between logo and watermark, by the way, is that logo is dis displayed at the end of the video and the watermark is a small watermark on the top corner during the video. You can change, replace any of these, the colors if you want. And after you have this, you can create generate videos. When I generate videos, the best thing to do for the description to get better results is I have a little formula, which I'm going to copy paste into here, which basically says describe the business name, the location, uh, the category or niche, and then the target audience you wish. So if I were this real estate agency and it didn't scrape my description, I would write maybe something like a real estate agency in California specializing in luxury real estate for millennials, if you want, um, with a focus on newlyweds and pet-friendly homes. 
So the more description, the more focused you are on your target audience, on the category and on the business or service you provide, the better the videos will come out. Second, another thing you could do is actually create videos not for a website, but for a topic. So for example, if I was this elementary school in Beverly Hills and I'm a science teacher and I want to do videos about space exploration for my class, I could type this in and then press continue. And then I would ask, I would give it a little more uh, explanation of what the videos are for. So I could say, uh, create videos about space exploration for third graders. Uh, and I could showcase these videos in my class if I wanted to. The one thing, but let's go back actually to our real estate agency. Because I want to make videos that are topical, but for my business. So one thing I like to do, and this is a, kind of like a third thing, is I like to use other chat products. So for example, if I don't know what videos I want to make, if I don't have a topic like I did right now for the space exploration, I could ask, I use Gemini, but you can use ChatGPT or Bard on anything. Gemini is free, free to use. So I could write a prompt here, like give me three topics for content videos for a global luxury real estate agency, which is the business of choice. And then it would come up with three topics. Um, so for example, you see it already gave me these topics, investing in luxury real estate, expert advice for savvy buyers. I like this topic. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to Chrome AI and enter this topic. Press continue. Then in the description, I'm also going to copy that. Somebody's not muted. Um, I'm going to copy that and then I'm adding the description. So this gives me great ideas for videos, even if I don't have it, right? The only important thing to remember is if you do a topical video instead of a website video, is to remember to manually add your domain and your logos because it doesn't scrape it automatically. I'm just adding this through here. And I'm going to choose random colors for now. Place this with white. And this is going to be a approach. The last thing before moving on, and this is right, for both topic and website is, this is, by the way, brand new feature that we released today, so you'll have it, is uh, the amount of videos you want to generate. So the default is 30 videos that start today. That's always the default. But you can choose this. I don't know, if you don't want 30 videos, you just want videos from today to Saturday, or if you want to start at a different day. So let's say I want to start on the 13th till Friday, that's five videos. You can also manually put it here. Or another option is if you want to do custom dates. So for example, I wanna choose videos for every Thursday. So those are the things you can schedule with. I'm gonna start on the 13th and do five videos. I apply this. So I have my topic, I have my description, which I took both from Gemini and I have my um, oh, by the way, this isn't a website. This is my name, the agency they're called. And I have my logos and watermark and my colors, and I press generate. Now, when I press generate, it usually takes up to two minutes. It doesn't really matter if you do five videos or 30 videos, it usually takes two minutes because what it does in the background is one, if you do the website thing, then it takes the content for the website to create relevant content from your topics. Um, we aggregate all the info, the system from why behind the scenes kind of creates a marketing strategy for those set dates. 
It writes scripts for content videos, sales videos, greetings, if there's like a holiday on those dates, listicle videos, inspirational videos, all kinds of videos that you could use for engaging users, especially in social media. Uh, after it writes all that, it selects the most relevant footage from Getty Images, and then edits everything together into videos, schedules them on the calendar, and as a bonus, it also writes copy to add to the post. So if you want to do a Facebook post, for example, you already have the post copy written down for you there. The default ratio for all videos Promo AI creates is square, but you can later change them to vertical or horizontal videos. Most of the usage is for social media. That's why square is kind of like the middle ratio that fits all later. Um, so, okay, so it has rendered these videos for me. Maybe we should just look at them. I think we didn't get over this sharing audio. So I'm, I'm, I think you might have to view these videos in mute. But remember, we asked it for topical videos about luxury real estate. So this video is called Maximize Tax Benefits. I haven't seen these either, but first time. As you can see, um, so this was for savvy investors. So the language was a, a little bit highbrow, I think. It's maximizing tax benefits. This is a post copy. This will be posted if you share it through promo, or you can always copy paste that later if you do something else. But that was like video number one. Let's just randomly select another one. The music is amazing. You're missing out. Uh, Topic videos are usually longer and have a little bit more content in them. Oh, I will say uh, Pro AI videos are uh, sometimes are great and you can just publish and post, but a lot of times they're like starting points. They're great ideas and I like to tweak them and I'll show you how I do that in a second. Um, these, by the way, are some of the videos I did before when I just entered the real estate agency website without giving him anything but the description. It takes the font and the colors of the brand directly from the website. So I didn't intervene with that yet, but I can if I want to. Um, so these are the videos I did right now. These are five videos I did for the agents before. And these are three videos I did before for the space exploration for school. I'll show you them in a minute. So I've created my videos. What can I do with them now? So I have a video, pressing on it obviously previews the video. I The first thing I can do is download this video to my hard drive. Another thing I can do before I get into editing is schedule. So scheduling videos is really easy. For the first time, you obviously have to connect your accounts. It's pretty easy. Um, you can select, for example, a Facebook page. I have more than one. So you can select if you want to post it as a, po as a regular post, as a reel. You can see it has a post copy already printed in, but you can edit and change this. It has a preview. You can create another ratio from here, but I, I suggest doing it beforehand. You can publish the post now or schedule for later. So this post was scheduled for May 13th, no, for May 2nd. 
but I can change the day, I can change the time, and then I can schedule it. If I schedule it, that post will be published directly to your social media on that day. The other thing you can do is hit on the draft button, which means you schedule this post on a different day on your calendar, but without publishing it automatically. You can come back and publish it manually if you choose to do so. But this is just a tool for kind of like rearranging the videos on your timeline. Once you have this post, by the way, you can add another social media. So I did Facebook. You can add a post to Instagram and it duplicates it. I suggest actually not using these, but using this duplicate button. And then it asks you, for example, Instagram. So here it is in Instagram. Because when you press duplicate, it copies a post copy as well. When you press Instagram through here, it will we'll do Facebook. It will copy it without the post copy, as you see. So this is scheduling. I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to schedule anything. I'm going to go back to May. Um, that was scheduling, downloading. And then the next thing I want to talk about, was is the big thing, is editing these videos. So there's two ways to edit, as I said before. One is using the chat editor, which is the button here. You can also uh, have more features. You can download the video, regenerate, etc. more things under this like kebab icon. The chat to edit is a really cool feature, which we're also discovering as we go along. Basically, now through this chat editor, it is connected directly to GPT, chat GPT for Turbo or Five Turbo, I can't remember. And it gives you all kinds of things that you can do. So you can change uh, the music, you can change the captions, which I'm gonna talk about a little more right now. You can replace clips. You could also upload your own content if you have videos or images that you wanna to insert to this video. And uh, you can change the logo and do many things with that. But basically changing the content, I actually wanted to do it with this video. So for example, this video came out and it has a little error. Let's see if you can see it. 10 expert home staging tips to sell fast. But if you scroll through the video, <laughs> it only gives five and then ends. So the first thing I can do with this is basically I'm going to ask him to change the first caption so i wrote okay sorry change the first caption to five expert home staging tips to sell faster it's thinking, and now it's redoing the video again like we did before, so it might take like half a minute, minute. And so that's the first thing you can do. You can change the content, change, oh, so five expert home favorite chicks to touch the cell back. It's good, need this. Another thing you can do is you can adjust the length of the captions or change the text format. So you could do, uh, make the captions shorter, longer, make them as bullet points or step-by-step -step instructions. So um, I might write, make the text shorter, and then it changes that. I don't think it's actually, it, this might not be a good command to ask it in a content video, but it does, take a few words off, not too many off the title I see, but this is much shorter. Declutter, open up spaces, et cetera. Um, I'm gonna discard these changes for now. Go back to the videos. Um, you can boost your content. So for example, if I choose this video, which says, Elevate your business with exclusive spaces. It's pretty short. It's like a 15 second video. Luxurious environments to match your success. I can boost this content by asking it to add more data, statistics, or details to make the message uh, more impactful. So I'm going to ask it to 
add statistics to the text. You can also focus on your audience. So you can highlight user pain points or benefits depending on your audience. Uh, you can ask it to add product benefits to the text. That's another thing you could do. So it's for adding statistics. So now it's GPT. It's actually going back to the internet, researching statistics for this topic of this video, and then kind of like re-scripting re the text and adding it to the video, rendering it through like the back end of our system. So it did add statistics of the first frame, 80% of executives choose their luxurious environments. So in this specific case, I don't think the statistics really helped us, but a lot of time when you do topic videos and you have more elaborate content, it, uh, it's, it actually helps a lot to create more impactful content. Um, Another really cool thing you can do with a chat edit button. So this is a video which is more like marketalized, personalized service, memorable experiences, embrace the home of your dreams. I can ask it to change the voice, like the tone of voice, a happier tone, a more informative voice, or rewrite as Yoda which is something I played with today and came out pretty fun. Your journey serendipitous begin it must. Service personalized and experience memorable provide we do. So you can do, I mean, because it's combined with GPT, I mean, we're still figuring out, <laughs> it's kind of funny. We're still also figuring it out, but the more we figure out, the more we'll put it out here and kind of like explain things that you could do. You, there's more things you can do with the content, which are really important. You can ask it to add a clear call to action to the outro scene, like directing viewers to your website. And you can also batch all these prompts together. You don't have to do them one by one. So you, you could write, make the text shorter, show it as bullet points, rewrite it as Yoda and direct users to my website. So the chat editor, uh, the chat editor, you can access it from here. You can access it from here. It's a really cool feature that we very much like to use. You can also use it. This is a clip I made before for the space exploration, by the way. Obviously, if you work for NASA and the videos you create have better footage than just like if you're, I don't know, a service agent of some sorts, but you can always, I'll show you how to kind of like look for better footage. So you can also ask for this first scene, for example, I don't love it. I, I don't really know what I'm looking at here. So I can ask the editor to change the first clip. for the first footage. So what it does is it opens up Getty Images library right here in the chat. It uses the search term it used to get this, but you can change this to Mars astronaut, for example, which is something I want to put in here. Now I think this is much cooler than the footage I saw before. So it starts like this, which is very, very cool. I mean, it takes literally seconds. You can ask it to change the music. You can't hear now, so I won't really get into that. Um, but you can ask it to change more dramatic music, more fun, kind of like ask it by genre. And you can ask it to change the text position. So we saw a video before where the text was positioned at the top. You could ask it to change the third text to be positioned in the middle and the bottom, basically in nine corners of the screen. You have top left, top, top right, et cetera. Um, but now I've done what I can do with the chat editor and I want to manually tweak the video. I want to do a few things. So I'm going to do this card for a second. And now I'm going to press this kebab icon 
which I just recently learned it's called kebab. If it's horizontal, by the way, it's called meatballs, another new thing. And I, I can do the edit video. When I open the edit video, it actually leads you back to the promo classic editor, which is the editor we've been using for the past few years for our templates. When you finish here, don't worry, you press save and it leads you back to the, a, the to promo AI. Now, a quick overview of what you see here. It's very, very basic and easy to use. You have this timeline on the bottom, which you can make smaller or bigger as you want, just however it seems comfortable. The bottom part of the timeline are the clips and the top part of the timeline are the text, the captions and the text styles. Still loading a little bit. On the left side, you can access the editor. You can access like the media pane, music pane. Um, you have this changing kind of like top panel. If you're, I'll, I'll show you what happens when you press, when you press a clip, then you can change it. You can replace it like I showed before. It opens up Getty Images library. The default search term is fun, but you can change it to space. Okay, I stopped my video for a second because I think it was eating up my RAM on my computer. Um, so another cool thing that you can do is sometimes, and we add this to textiles that don't have a background, is when you press on the clip, you can give it kind of like an, a color layer to make it darker or whatever you want. And, and it helps sometimes with the legibility of the text. If you choose a color that you like, you can press apply to all, to apply to all of them. But on the right hand side, you have the textiles and the animations. And choosing the right animation and the right textile, I think, is a very crucial thing for the videos you want. So you want you need to know your audience, who they are and what you want to tell them. So if a video is more fashionable, then you're going to choose something. Maybe this is a good font, fashionable. But if it's more playful, for example, we just had Easter templates. So you can choose something like this. You can change, obviously, the colors and the fonts for any of these templates. You can choose capitalization and positioning. And, and there's textiles that are better for maybe listicles. So you have kind of like a title here. And a lot of running text here and here. Oops, current here. What I suggest, though, is usually not choosing more than two textiles per video. If each frame that kind of has a different design, it messes with your eyes. I either choose one textile and animation for the whole video, or maybe. I'll choose one for the title frame and then another one for all the running text in the middle. Now that's obviously, that changes depending on what you do, but for the most part, it's, it's, it's a good practice. Another thing is always look what, I mean, try to choose things that on one hand are very legible, but on the other hand, don't kind of like, compete with the visual or the footage in the background. Um, so when I choose footage, by the way, if I'm gonna, if this loads right now, I usually try to use a footage that I know that isn't too busy, that I know will work with text on it later. So these ones are pretty cool. They're pretty focused. There's one thing you can see in each frame. This one, for example, this rocket, it might, you might not see it if you put a text in the middle. This is a very busy frame. I wouldn't choose this, I don't think. Too many things going around. It's not very focused. By the way, you can kind of like central center the footage in the background, depending on your ratio. So things that are focused, things that are kind of like close-ups of people and not like have very small subjects because most of these videos are gonna be shown on mobile phones at the end of the day. So I like very, very focused things. I think this is pretty cool, kind of shows the launch. You understand what it says in a second. This is kind of like 3D, so maybe not everybody will like it. 
that's another thing. If you do a video that has animation in the background, like animation footage, then keep doing animation footage through the video. For example, like this, I wouldn't mix this with like live action footage. Seeing this and then seeing something like the earth turning around is kind of weird. It doesn't really work together. So I like each video to have kind of like a specific theme. And I run through that theme both visually and with the textile that I choose. Um, another thing about the textiles is you don't want them jumping around. So you don't want one at the top and then the next one at the bottom. Um, and then one in the middle, because when you see this, it messes with your eyes a little bit. So you can change a bit. I, I mean, I do sometimes. Pretty weird. Uh, I do sometimes use the title frame and put it in the middle. And then the next frames, I put everything like in the bottom left corner. But I don't try, I don't start moving them around within the video too much. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you, I'm gonna close this. Um, so it opens up on the date, on the 16th, which is today. So, and we were working on videos in May. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna open this video and I'm gonna ask it to open it on the editor on the classic editor, hoping that it won't take too much time. Just give it one more second to load. Two more best practices about texts design. Um, I said use animations that fit the content. Be aware of the words per frame. A good rule of thumb is two words per second. So if you have a five second part, like from six to 12 here, so it's six seconds, usually not more than 12, 15 words. I mean, if the words are short, like A, the, whatever, they hardly count as words, but usually not more than two words per second. Otherwise, the frame will fly by too fast and people won't be able to read what you wrote. And at the end of the day, everything we do is about conveying a message. So legibility and messaging is the most important thing, even if you're doing videos. I mean, I would say understanding the message is more important than a beautiful video even. I mean, they have to go hand in hand, but at the end of the day. So another thing I like to do is also sometimes, it depends again on your audience. If your audience is very young, maybe they do like really small fonts, but if your audience is bigger, is a lot of the times the editor automatically will do kind of like two or three rows max. But if you have a frame like this, which you can center by the way, um, I like to get into the text editor by pressing twice and then kind of like breaking the lines better and then they automatically become larger and they look better, I think, on the frame than what was before. So this was kind of like what it was before, which is too small for the end of the day for a mobile and this is what it looks like. So that's a really something I suggest we do because the computer doesn't always know how to do it. One last thing oops, is uh, the outro. Outro is very important. Like this logo looks pretty great, but a lot of times our logos don't look that good. I add color to it, like a background color, and then I make it smaller so it stands out. It can be a square or a rectangle or, or whatever. And press this twice. A lot of the times there's more info that you can add like an additional text, your website. No, I wrote it wrong. And you can choose obviously animations for the outro design as well. And my uh, last thing is I would suggest leaving a long outro. You can even do it five seconds long because what happens if you use a really short one, even if there's a very little words, is when the video stops playing on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, it will have kind of like dark screen. But if you leave it for five or seven seconds long, then your logo and your message at the end will stay for longer while people are watching, which is very important. So um, yeah, that's it. And you can also add a watermark, like I said before, during the video, whatever it is. 
you can change the opacity if you don't want it to be like full color. But that's also good because not everybody sees videos till the end. And I mean, the, the better people can remember your business is always great. Another thing is if you find a textile and a branding and a color that you like, I would suggest usually using it for most of your videos. Even if you get bored with that branding, it becomes recognizable with your users. So it's good practice as far as branding goes. I know I went a little bit long, so I'm gonna Hey, I mean, stop there's here. um there's a question. Uh one is what's real R E E L. And then the second question was can I drop an existing video created in classic into AI for edit? For the chat editor, you can schedule a, a video created with a classic editor and then it shows up on the planner. If that's what you're asking, but you can't edit that video with the AI editor because that because that video wasn't creating through the whole scripting mechanism and the marketing strategy and whatever AI doesn't really know what's in that video. It can't read that video because it didn't create it. You can put it on the planner calendar to schedule, but you can't edit it with the AI editor. I don't see any other questions. Um, I'm just going to tell you that we do have a promo uh, com YouTube page. We keep adding like short bits and bytes of educational videos. Uh, there's still this question. What's real? R E E L. I'm Reels? Uh, Reels are, uh, they're Instagram videos that aren't, uh, posted. It's just like a new thing by Facebook and Instagram. If you haven't seen it, it's these things that are shared beyond your friend's space. Um, they don't, they're, they act a little bit different. There's a lot of things that are different about them, but basically they're public people see reels that aren't necessarily your friends. So Facebook and Instagram are really pushing reels. Everything you do today as a video, they want you to promote it. A reels. it does have a few restrictions on it. So there's different use cases for why or why not using them. It's a whole, it's a whole conversation, but check it out. Just Google reels and Instagram. What are they good for? Well, well, yeah, I don't see any other questions. So if not, um, we'll go ahead and, and wind things down here. But thanks again. Um, we will certainly send this video out. For uh, look for us on our YouTube channel. Yes, exactly. What's the uh, link to you? Oh, you, you have it here. Oh, no, it's that's... such a long link. I just search for promo.com and then look for okay. the promo AI or um, playlist. Cool. which looks like this image I shared. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Amit. And thanks everyone for, for joining. And um, we we'll wish you adieu. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you. That everyone. was amazing. Sorry. Thank that you. was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Very welcome. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.